The Prime Minister has issued a letter to U.S. President Barack Obama that asked the American leader to consider working with Canada on the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions. It's hoped this proposition could lead to the President's approval for the Keystone XL pipeline project. Josh Gernick joins us from Vancouver with more on this one. What do you have for us, Josh? Hey, morning, Brian. Good morning. Well, yeah, we net. Yeah, morning. So we now know that we have a, a letter sent to President Obama from Harper back in August uh, saying that if it means getting the Keystone XL pipeline through to the U.S., he will work with the United States in reducing greenhouse uh, carbon emissions. And so this is a big step forward, obviously, as Harper is trying everything he can in order to get President Obama to see eye to eye on the project here. Um, he, Harper thinks and says that this project is in the best economic interest of both the U.S. and the United States. But as we all know, in the past uh, couple of months, uh, President Obama has been very vocal, actually, on saying that he doesn't think that it's in the best interest. He has really been, according to himself, Obama has been very doubtful on the amount of jobs, uh, really downplaying it, saying it only would create a couple uh, hundred th or just a couple thousand, really, when we know that, according to uh, many uh, you know, politicians and the company itself, that they say it would create uh, tens of thousands. And so uh, this just shows that Harper is uh, almost extending an olive branch. And when we asked him, uh, the PMO's office, about this, they sent us a statement saying, uh, quote, that they don't comment on uh, issues such as this, but they will say that the Prime Minister does raise the job creating Keystone XL project every time he speaks with the President. The Keystone project is in both countries' national interest and will create jobs and economic growth on both sides of the border while increasing North American energy security. Canadians can count on our government to fight for Canadian jobs and yada, yada, yada. But the point of the matter is, is that this is going forward, right? Uh, as these projects, uh, you know, continue to get uh, planned and then uh, go into the development phase, you know, Harper, he knows that he needs to try and get them to these foreign markets. And one of those foreign markets is the U.S., Brian. Mm, sounds like progress, uh, at least a little bit anyways. We'll have to wait and find out. Thanks for this, Josh. No problem. That's Josh Skernick in Vancouver.